Today I'm going to talk to you about overheating motors. If you're having problems with your motors overheating, the reason why is the motors are pulling too many amps, thus causing the polymeric temperature coefficient, also known as the PTC, trip. Although most people say my motors are overheating, actually, the PTC, PTC is tripped and has prevented the motors from getting too hot. There are two PTCs in the VEX system, one in the Cortex micro, microcontroller and one in the individual motors. There are two PTCs in the Cortex microcontroller. One goes through ports 1 through 5, and a second one goes through ports 6 through 10. This video is specific about the PTC located in the motor, but also applies to the one located in the microcontroller. Now I'll take off both covers to show you the full motor and PTC. I have already removed all the screws from the motor to make it easier to disassemble. You would want to take off both covers and remove all the gears to be able to pull out the motor. Once it's all out, the motor should be able to pull right out. The PTC is going to be a mustard colored device like capacitor soldered next to the red and black wires on the motor. Now back to why the PTC is tripping. When a motor consumes more amps, the motor gets hot. This can damage the motor. The PTC is a safety device that trips like a circuit breaker in your house. When the PTC trips, it opens the circuit and your robot cannot use the motor until it cools. After it cools, the PTC will reset and you will be able to use the motor again. This is not a fast process and can take several minutes before it fully cools. Again, the PTC is, a, is protecting the motor. The VEX Robotics website states that the PTC is guaranteed to trip within 7.1 seconds of continuous exposure to 1.8 amps and will trip more quickly when exposed to higher current. However, the PTC allows the motor to continuously run at 0.9 amps without tripping. One of the best ways to trip the PTC is when a robot is stalled and cannot move. The motor will draw a lot of amps when it is stalled and the PTC will trip very quickly. Now I'm going to tell you several ways you can reduce the chance of your PTC tripping. 1. Reduce the rotational friction. Example in, in, examples include gears that are meshing too tightly, also collars or spacers are too tight can cause bind, even a bent axle can increase rotational friction. Pretty much anything that makes it harder for the motors to return can cause rotational friction. 2. Reduce the mass, which will thus decrease the load on the motor. Either use less material by redesigning or move to a lightweight material like aluminum. 3. Avoid high amp maneuvers. Examples include pushing other robots, objects, or pushing against a wall. Anything that wouldn't allow your robot to move freely or, or could stall the motor can cause your PTC to trip. And four, change the gear ratio. To gain torque, try to gear down your drivetrain or lift. You will sacrifice speed, but the increased torque may require less amps. Less amps equals a cooler PTC and less likely to trip. Generally, to gear down, you need a small gear turning a larger gear. As you can see, when your motors are overheating, generally your PTCs are tripping, causing the circuit to open. Four ways that you can reduce them from overheating is reduce the rotational friction, reduce the mass, avoid high amp maneuvers, or change the gear ratio.